Hi, my name is Mike and thanks for joining me on this first video of uh, Moodle and using Moodle in this day and age for tutors and teachers who are remote. You're probably having a little struggle maybe. So this is why I've uh, designed these videos. My name is Mike Toft and you can find me as a little grey hair on Twitter. So the first thing, first top right hand corner of your Moodle site, you'll have a button or a cog saying uh, effectively wanting you to click and uh, when you click it there'll be a drop down menu uh, and it will be quite a long menu but this is just at the top so uh, you turn editing on and uh, half a second or so uh, all these little icons will appear across your Moodle page including at the bottom of any topic area there will be a link uh, with a plus sign saying add an activity or a resource and then once clicked Moodle offers a whole list of activities and resources that are available to you on your Moodle site. Don't worry, your Moodle site might look a bit different to this, but the concept is exactly the same. So go to the resources on the uh, right hand side and select label. And it'll be the third or fourth one up uh, from the bottom. Goodness knows why Moodle called it label and not text, but there we go. So select label and a, uh, oh, when you select it don't forget to <laughs> click the add button otherwise the text editor won't appear and what you see here is the Atto text editor that is the default editor with Moodle 3.5 in the top left hand corner there's a little pointy down arrow and if you click on that then you see the bottom two bars of icons and funnily enough it looks uh, very similar to Microsoft Word so if you look around these uh, icons right now, you can have bulleted lists, you can have numbered lists, you can create links, you can add images, uh, maybe uh, multimedia, um, you can underline, scroll through, subscript, upper script, and then um, justify left, justify center, justify right. Uh, you can indent uh, to the left and the right you can add tables and all these things so uh, it's um, it's pretty cool so what we're going to do is just uh, look at the Atto editor the first two buttons um, or in fact the second and third button uh, from the top left and this is font size initially I would recommend medium because it uh, comes up with a font size on your screen of 16 pixels which is the default pixel size for any of the browsers uh, the next button along uh, gives you a small uh, choice of fonts. I prefer Vedana and then Arial, and I've never used the others. So you can choose whichever you like. I do recommend you don't use Times New Roman uh, because that's very old fashioned on websites and it uh, doesn't look very nice. And then all you need to do is go to the text area at the bottom and start typing. I've created a heading called uh, Demonstration Heading and a left justified uh, paragraph saying this is a demonstration heading of adding your text to the VLE page. It is really straightforward. Don't forget to scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click save and return and the buttons look something like that. There is a cancel feature as well. So that's it. My name is Mike Toff from A Little Grey Hair on Twitter and alittlegreyhair.com on the web. So thanks for listening and in the next video I'll be talking about adding links.